is Franz, and today I'm going to show you how to make something so simple, yet so delightful. It's balsamic reduction, and because it's my birthday, I need to make it special. So today we're going to make um, maple balsamic reduction, and you can just make the plain kind just by adding um, honey, which is the whole food way. You'll see some options will tell you just to put sugar, but why put sugar when you put honey, right? So, um... I rarely ever measure this. I'm measuring this for you peeps just because I'm on camera. I usually just dump some in the pan, you know, add a tablespoon, a couple teaspoons of sweetener. And then I'm gonna put this on the stove. I'm gonna let it simmer and it's gonna turn syrupy. And when it's done being all syrupy and yummy, I'm gonna add it to a couple of fun dishes. So this is a staple in our house. You, uh, I'll show you why. We always keep it on the counter because it'll make anything that's Meh. Wow. So if you want that little secret, I'll show you how to make this and you can drizzle it on, on just about anything, including pizza, and it'll make it taste amazing. So I'm just gonna walk over to the stove, get that going, and uh, we'll check back. So welcome back. You've seen a few of the shots of it simmering slowly. Uh, I only did a cup, so well actually about a three quarters of a cup, so it took about 18 minutes uh, from start to finish, which isn't bad. And of course, if you want it like really fast for that night's dinner, uh, you can do you know a third of a cup or so, and it'll happen in five to six minutes, and you have just enough to kind of drizzle over your dinner, which is nice. But if you're gonna make a batch and you have the time, make a big batch. And I'll just show you how kind of syrupy it really is. And I'm sure you've seen this. If you've gone out for restaurants to, to for dinner, they often uh, will have this drizzled on your plate or um, as a sauce on something. So that's kind of what it looks like. I'm going to use the one I already have made uh, to show you how you can, some of its applications, um, because that one's not quite cool. And the nice thing is too, if you happen to overcook it, which does happen, it's super easy to fix. You just add a little balsamic vinegar and it thins it out. So nothing is lost if you happen to overcook it or you went and took off for 10 minutes longer than you should have or whatever. So I've got a couple of pieces of really nice organic uh, spelt sourdough that I got from the market yesterday. And I'll just show you a couple different applications. I'm gonna put goat cheese on one of these. And I have some leftover oven dried tomatoes, which we'll put a link to it because it's a post I did earlier. Oh, and I got some Azuna as well when I was at the market yesterday. So we'll layer that on there. You can have these as fancy little appies or you can increase the size and actually make it a sandwich. Isn't that beautiful? And then I'm gonna do another variation because we just happen to have some organic strawberries coming in. Grab some basil. Little basil leaves there. a little drizzle now with the balsamic uh, maple reduction that would be amazing but look how easy that is you've just turned three very simple ingredients into something that's super fantastic great as an hors d'oeuvre if you did it on crackers for a wedding or perfect for uh, an afternoon lunch on the patio that you can whip together with just a few vegetarian ingredients so I hope you appreciate that and I hope that you'll uh, give this a try because this is our little miracle sauce even when I don't want to make salad dressing I drizzle my olive oil all over the lettuce and then just do a little drizzle of this and then I don't even have to make salad dressing, which is awesome. Oh, and it keeps on the counter indefinitely. I've never had one go bad. So hopefully you'll join us again for next TV Tuesday and that's it. And uh, leave a comment below 
And uh, for my birthday present, please tell me why you come by the site and what keeps you coming back. I'd love to hear from you. All right, have a great day. Just a quick reminder that if you're new to cooking with whole foods or you're looking for the easiest way to get gourmet whole food meals on the dinner table, then check out our e-cookbook, The Whole Food Revelation. It's full of delicious recipes, meal plans, and grocery lists to make eating real as easy as possible. Check out a sample at beyondthepeel.net slash WFR.